Oh, that's so nice and long. Oh, didn't see you there. I'm just talking about my crankshaft. Today we'll be installing this in our LS LY6 engine. For installing the crankshaft, aside from the crank, we'll need a torque wrench. I'll be using this plastic gauge to check the bearing clearance. We also need our bearings, main bolts, assembly lube, uh, and I have this gauge as well to check the thrust. We need to insert these bearings into the engine. These are the thrust bearings. These are the normal bearings. The thrust bearing will go in the third location. So what I'm doing right here is using the plastic gauge to measure the bearing clearance. One of the important things is when you're cutting each of these pieces of plastic gauge and you put on the main caps, you have to make sure to not rotate the crankshaft or else it'll mess up how the plastic gauge is reading. Also, the main caps are numbered, so when installing these you need to make sure they're in the correct order and orientation. Now with the main caps on, we're ready to install the studs. Here I'm using the old studs I took out of the engine because these studs are torqued to yield, meaning you can only really use them once. And since I'm using the plastic gauge, these bolts will have to come back out, and then when I'm installing everything for the final time, I will use the fresh bolts then. The clearance for each of these crank bearings came in around one and a half to two thousandths, which is on the tighter end of within spec, but should be fine. Now I need to set the thrust, and to do that, I'll hit the engine, the crankshaft this way, and then I'll hit it back this way. To check the thrust, I'm going to apply a little bit of pressure onto the crankshaft and make sure that there's not excessive play in the thrust of the crank. This one measured to about 2,000 and acceptable clearance is from 1.5 to 3,000. Now this is a debatable topic for these LS engines. Do you want to go with the typical timing chain tensioner? Or do you want to go with the timing chain dampener? Now the, the reason that you want to go with the dampener, this tensioner, the guides here will break and they can just run loose in your engine and cause issues. So this dampener, it's a lot more simple and you're not going to run into any issues. Now you might think with this kind of tensioner, I'm going to put pressure on this chain, which has a little bit of slop in it. And you would think that you would want that, because that pressure is going to cause it to you know, run in a consistent track every time. But actually, when it's rotating around this assembly, this chain is going to be floating on top of the gears, pretty much. So it won't cause any damage to these gears, and it will remain oiled, and the engine will remain running smooth and this doesn't have a potential of breaking off and destroying your engine. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more.